Sorry about that. That's what you get when you don't warm up. You put this pedal's namesake to shame. Not in a good way. This is Ingve J. Momstein, the maestro, the father of neoclassical electric guitar. Some call it shred. YGAM 308 preamp overdrive. This is legendary. Um, demoing it today on sale on eBay. I think it'll be uh, $49.99 plus shipping. So, I uh, you see, it probably didn't sound that great. I had everything maxed out, just kind of. Well, really, it was as a crutch. Because <laughs> to pull that stuff off, uh, well, actually, here here's the reality of it all. Ingve doesn't use that much gain. Nowhere near as much as you think. His plexis that he uses um, after this pedal um, are not very high or heavy on the gain, believe it or not. And then he uses this to push them. Yeah, I wish I could tell you. I think he probably has... I forgot. I think he push, pushes the level up more and the, just keeps the gain... Um, just so he can get the sustain and the attack on the notes and stuff, but we'll, we'll put this guy through its paces, okay? We'll start off, uh, actually we'll start off, since we're playing with the tube amp, otherwise known as PV Encore 65, we are going to test this amp's, I mean this pedal's, um, tube amp pushing capabilities. Um, so we'll start out with a gain low, um... And then go from there. And then uh, I'll show you something else cool. Hopefully we'll have time. So anyway, here's uh, here it is on the level 10 and gain like quarter of the way up. Not very high. I should have probably busted out my Ingve Strat and probably played through a lower gain Marshall, but I'm not. Because I'm not selling either of those things. Because they're awesome and I want to keep them and I don't want to sell them. But I am selling these items, so check it out. just informed by my nine-year-old son that there's a tornado war warning so if the pedal starts swirling up in the air and the amp starts you know uh, I bailed to save him a little bit more important right <laughs> Thank you. 
turn the level down to match the gain. Level at 50%, gain at uh, three quarters of the way up. Gain all the way up. Didn't really have to gain up that high for that kind of leg, but. Something like that. Slopperoni. Probably doesn't help to play humbuckers. That's probably why Ingve uses single coils. I know his are stacked humbuckers. Still, there's some clarity. Something about the clarity of a of a strat that's just unequaled. Even by this PRS that I'm playing. Woo! I don't know if you can see that, but uh anyway. SE Santana. So it's not like I said, there's no such, I've, I've always said there's no such thing as a bad PRS, but man, for playing this kind of stuff, I don't know, I prefer the lower gain pickups of the Fender Ingve Strat, lower gain Marshall, and then, and then this one you can crank. <laughs> That is not the case, it's just a, a demonstration, uh, illustration. What we'll do though, right now, I want to show you guys something, um, is I'll turn up, well, let me turn this all the way down, turn the pump all the way down, turn the preamp pretty low, and max this sucker, let's see. Good, so pretty clean, pretty clean. So basically, the previous owner of this particular pedal modified it just, um, not heavily, just really lightly modified it, basically so that the gain um, wouldn't be as much. And check this out, check this out. All the way up on level, gain, ready? Gain up to half. I probably won't go any more than that. Usually it starts to get buzzsaw even with this lower gain. But anyway, the, the point is you can use it as a standalone overdrive now. As prior, but prior you, you really couldn't. Sounded like buzzsaws and bees. So, hey, nice seeing you guys. Uh, talk to you soon. Love you all. God bless.